What's going on, y'all? So it's almost over the event for the Aerodome Enhancement Boost. And I'm curious, what did everyone do for this week enhancing the Aerodome? How did you take advantage of it? I'm curious. So let me know down in the comments what you did. As you can see here, we did a good little bit. And then we'll kind of go over that. First and foremost, let's just kind of address real quick. The Aerodome Boost did happen for a week. However, the Nameless Boost does go on until next month, as you can see here. So you still have the RDR and the Preset Skill Boost from that. Also, moving into the next week, we do have another boost that applies for everything. However, it's just slash, so it's 5% instead of the 10%. So you'll see that here. This applies coming after maintenance. So if you want to uh, continue doing this or, you know, if you want to do it for some other weapons, wing guard uh, is over, whatever, then you will have at least some sort of boost going on there. And while it's not as much, it's still a tremendous amount. So either way, it's still a great time to be trying to do any of the things that you were doing with Aerodom to a different weapon, whether that's leveling, whether that's uh, prefix adding, whether that's augmenting, so and so and so, you have an increased chance, have a, a save cost on all of the above. So be sure to take advantage of that as we move into a new segment, a new week of boost. Of course, we have actual big boost campaigns coming up that we know. So this is going to be a, a month ahead and... and uh, whatnot of, of super boots so of course we have the uh the support scratch coming as well so a lot to look forward to be sure to like and be sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel and the continued good energy within the online sphere but nonetheless as you can see here i took advantage of this very heftily very heavily uh with everything that you see here remember you know i, I practice what i preach so as you can see here we have lots of airdoms and we level them all two decent fixes this creates an opportunity for me to play whatever i want to so as you can see we have an assortment of fixes fatal three and we also have a rifle that is wix four you know a wand that is fatal three we have wires so 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 and we also took this opportunity to kind of transfer things over to my zover weapons that i still use so of course um my daggers which already y'all saw the daggers so that was before him and the rod for force so we took advantage of this highly oh as well as this uh this bow and katana this was this was already fatal three so i just went ahead and multi-weaponed it because multi-weapon costs were slashed as well so i was like well let's let me go ahead and just do this now and i'll probably level this as well uh this will probably be level by the time this video comes out just to have it right so you know i talk about this like take advantage of these opportunities because they're there and so of course you know this was able to be done for free i did not spend a single dime on this in terms of acquiring anything all these fixes were leveled up from ground zero as with the exception of the bow and this is also just because i played the game so because i play the game i have a bunch of these in my inventory at preset skill level once i literally have hundreds you know hundreds of them at a point i had over 200 of them because i simply play the game remember these were in that previous ltq maybe a month ago or something like that and they were there galore and if you just play the game you realize that when all this stuff comes out when new stuff comes out you don't have to stress about anything you don't have to struggle about anything you don't have, you don't have to play the game crazily or anything like that if you just play the game to a varying degree you don't have to get on you don't have to get on every day you don't have to spend five eight hours ten hours on the game every day if you get on the game and you're just playing the stuff that they're giving us you're taking advantage of the stuff that they're giving us then you will immediately just set yourself up for anything in the future this is a prime example of that because yeah, you'll be like dude what i don't have that many app preset skills how'd you me at preset skills First and foremost, I played DFD, of course. Okay, of course, they dropped from DFD, Dark False Dalliant. But then they dropped a whole bunch from that LTQ from uh, a month or two. Oh, well, not not wow. two. It had to be a month, a month and a half ago. So I was able to just freely go through these air dims that I have because you can get them good lore from Nameless City and use them as fodder material. I uh, put the app preset much. skill, put them on level one, and then, you know, we just go through the list, keep trying to add them. Of course, there's lots of failures. Then they go to level two, and then so so so, and then you get, get two at two, and then you put it to level three. You know, it's so it's it's very easy to get level threes. Like it's like it's extremely easy to get for, uh, to fix this level threes. It's extremely easy, and it just comes from playing the game. And remember how I always talk about emphasis oh, on units. No. Sorry about 
this allows me to play with these weapons and still be highly competitive in terms of damage output, in terms of potency, in terms of floor potency. Because I focus on my units first. Your units always will have the longest life, regardless. Because even when new units come out, you still have to put augments on it. So even if that even if that new unit is one potency more, you still have to put new augments on it. You have to get a fixer that makes sense for you to trade off on that. And in terms of units, you can more or less you know do it one at a time, right? So whereas weapons they change much more frequently, weapons are released more frequently, always have been. And there's just a lot of different other weapons, a lot of different plays, a lot of different classes. So you focus on your units first, and then it allows you to really just play whatever you want to. And as I do, as y'all have seen me, y'all know I'm, I'm proficient in all of these classes I have weapons for, whether it's wand, whether it's rod, whether it's uh, rifle. Rifle, not so much. We did DFD rifle for the first time the other day. It was perfectly fine. Uh, I didn't die. But uh, I mean, I'm comfortable with rifle. I did play Ranger a lot years ago, so it's not a huge deal. But nonetheless, uh, but you know, a wire and, and daggers and and all the above. You know, we're we're proficient in all these. We're strong in all these. We know how to play all these classes, and it really just enhances the gameplay. And this is a great example as well as where EX augments came into and are a godsend because I talked about this before in my previous video. This is one of the big benefits is that it allows you to play the game and really play each and every class freely without having any hindrances holding you back. So this really allows me to do that. So how did you handle your airdoms, your boost this week? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're planning to level up some other stuff uh, as we get the new boost coming up. And be mindful of the augment support scratch because that's going to be a great time to be trying to add some stuff on as well. Of course, we still have the boost going on until next month. And we have lots ahead of us. So be sure to like and subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Let me know. How. Spike to content.